Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is a highly requested one from Snapchat and Instagram. I posted this picture and a lot of you loved it, but for the eyes in this picture, I only had mascara on, and I've done a lot of those looks where it's just like a very, very natural eye, and then we do something different with the lips. So for this look, I decided to give you guys a little something different that you could play with. So you can go with the really natural eye and just have mascara on, or you could do something like this where I created sort of a smoky liner and really sculpted that um, crease in there. So if you wanna see how I created this look, keep watching. So in this video, I'm trying out just a couple new things. I feel like I get so stuck in the usual products I use, so you see a lot of the same ones in my videos. So I'm trying to use a couple of new ones in this one. So to prime my skin, I'm gonna first use the Magic Primer by uh, Natasha Denona. And if you've been watching my snaps, you know that I have a new friend here. We'll just do our best to cover him up. All right, while I let that sink in, I'm going to tell you about the foundation I'm gonna use. I just got this in the mail yesterday. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter uh, Foundation. It's brand new. It is a really full coverage foundation. I tried it out yesterday and it's like super full coverage and I don't ever really use full coverage. This is the number six that I'm gonna go in with. I don't know why it's so light, but. <laughs> So basically I'm doing what I would do with my concealer. So I'm just gonna apply this under my eyes and then with my Beauty Blender damp, I'm just gonna blend that out. And you guys can see how full coverage that is because I probably won't even use concealer for this look because that is ridiculously good coverage. And it dries nice and matte too. I was interested to see how this looked on my face because on my hand it dried uh, to a good matte finish and on the face it looks just as good. God, really, I have another one on this side. So again, with my Beauty Blender, I'm gonna just blend this all out. So I'm also gonna go in around my mouth here. So I'm noticing that this is oxidizing quite a bit, so maybe it's not as light as I thought for my complexion, but I definitely still need to warm it up and um, sort of match my body with my contour. One thing I do notice about this foundation is it dries matte very quickly. So I have to say, if you're looking for a matte finish full coverage foundation, this is really good. I mean, it covered everything and the finish, I personally think for me it might be a little bit too matte. I might use like a mixing medium next time I use it, but really good matte foundation. And now the other foundation I'm gonna to use to warm up my face is the, you know, I love this one. It's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick in Y505. And I like this because it's nice and creamy. It will blend very easily, so. So I'm just going to warm up my face and bring out those contours. And then with the other side of my Beauty Blender, just going to blend that all out. So already you can see that just this has brought more life and more dimension to my face. Especially when you're dealing with a matte foundation, it tends to make your face look like it has no dimension at all. It just makes everything look really flat. So this contour is definitely bringing out more of the dimension of my face. This is always the most delicate part. It's the nose contour. So I was going to use a setting powder for this, but considering the finish is so perfect, I'm not even gonna bother with it. So since this is a red lip look, I want the cheeks to be matte and not really like stand out too much. So I'm using kind of a subtle color. This is Technicolor by um, Lorac, and I picked up the wrong brush. Here's the one I want. So this is a nice uh, subtle pink blush and it is matte so it won't cause too much interference with the rest of the look. So I'm not gonna leave this look completely matte since I use a matte foundation, matte bronzer, matte blush. I do wanna add a little bit of highlights. I'm gonna go in with Gilded Honey by uh, Laura Geller. I haven't used this in a really long time, but it's such a pretty highlighter. It's, a, it's like the perfect gold with like a touch of bronze and like that champagne -y tone. Add that to my cheeks. into my brow bone and a little bit above the arch of my brow. And it's really unfortunate that this zit is right in my highlight path. And this zit has been around forever. It's been like 
over a week, it's just been there. All right, moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna start first with my Benefit Stay Don't Stray lid primer. Oh gosh, again. I feel like I really only ever use eyeshadow primer for more polished looks, just because it makes everything look a little more pulled together. So now for the eyeshadow, I'm gonna use this palette by Marc Jacobs. It is uh, the Social Butterfly, and it's a nice neutral color palette. I haven't used this yet but you can see it's got some really nice colors, mattes and shimmers. So to begin, I'm gonna use this color right here, the second from the left of the palette, but your also left. And this I'm just gonna work into my crease. And I'm gonna use this color, because it's a nice subtle neutral color, to kind of lift my crease a little bit. So I'm going above my crease. I plucked my eyebrows right before I shot this video, you guys, it was a freaking disaster. It was like, like I needed a hacking saw to get through it. It was like really bushy. <laughs> and again on the other side, starting high up on my crease, just sort of a windshield wiper back and forth first and then start to blend it out in a circular motion. All right, next up I'm going in with a smaller brush right into this darker brown color. It's also a matte shade and make sure to tap the excess off so it doesn't end up on your cheeks. So with this I'm gonna start at the outer edge of my lash line and then just create a sort of a C formation and then once I add the liner to this it's just gonna look much more of a like a smoky liner and then I'm just gonna go back to that original brush and just sort of blend it out a little bit and just starting at the outer edge of the lash line and then slowly working my way up into the crease Normally with my looks, especially the neutral ones, it's sort of a, it all sort of blends together and you've got like just this one wash of like neutral like colors. This I really want the neutral dark and then the neutral light to really stand out and not be blended together so much. And then back to blending. So I'm tempted to go in with this gold color right at my, at the center of my lids, but I feel like that might take away from the red lips a little bit and make it look more like a sort of like a, a glam look and I don't really want this to be glam. So I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna take a smudge brush and I'm gonna dip into this color right here which is a uh, shimmery brown and I'm just gonna add this to my bottom lash line just to make it look a little bit more interesting. So I'm just gonna start applying that right to my bottom lash line. Ooh, and that's nice and pigmented. Whew. All right, I'm pretty happy with that shadow, so now I'm gonna go in with my Hourglass 1.5 millimeter pencil in black. And first, of course, I'm going to darken the inner rim of my top lash line. <sighs> so ticklish. So now to really give me that cat eye shape, I'm going to use my liner to just create an exaggerated mini wing at this corner here. So I'm just going to map out the shape first. And then like I said, I want to make this smoky. So with that same smudge brush, let's just get that shimmer off first. I'm going to start to smudge that out. And it then will start to blend in with the shadow and just make it darker. And then just give the eye a more lifted appearance at the outer corner. So again, I'm just at the outer edge, stopping sort of halfway across the um, lid, and then taking that smudge brush and just really diffusing and blurring that line. So for this look, I am going to be using false lashes, but it's always obviously up to you if you want to use false lashes. I I mean, I don't need false lashes, but um, I always want to, you know, show you guys a different option when I can. So like I said, you can just leave it this way or you can go in with a set of 
pretty natural lashes. I've got the Eyelore number 117, which is really, really good. I, this is one of my favorites. So is this, though, the um, 120 Demis by Ardell. So um, I think for this look, I'll go with the Eyelore. These are just a little more dense, so it might look a little too dramatic if I wear these. So even though the Eyelore 117s fit really nicely, a lot of times most lashes are way too long and you always have to cut them. These fit my eye length perfectly, but I still like it to mostly be concentrated on the ends. So I'm going to take the longer part and cut just about like a, just like a couple millimeters off of it. So I haven't put on lashes in a while. So let me remind you, the less glue, the better. It's going to hold better and it'll be easier to, you know, gently take off. So I'm just going to slowly lower that onto my lash line. So I think that made a nice difference. It's not too dramatic, but it's, you know, enough that it just really opens up the eye and makes it look a little, like I said, turned upward. And then once again, anchoring my fingers somewhere on my face. Now that I have the lashes on, I'm gonna go in and just really lightly polish up my brows. My brows lately have been much fuller, so I don't have to do a whole lot to them. Just got a couple bald spots here. And now for the main attraction, the red lip. This is a color by Motives and it's called Scandalous. It's a really nice, bright red and it's comfortable but it's super super matte so i'm just going to start with my bottom lip here and just use the applicator to line my lips and then just fill it in And that's it for this look. Like I said, the original photo was just mascara and then the lips, but I wanted to give you guys a little something different. So of course you can do this lip with just a really natural eye with just some mascara. I hope you enjoyed this look. I know a lot of you were asking for it. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'll see you guys in my next video.